Hi, and welcome to today's Deshi Challenge. Now, we're building on deepening our relationship, so we're going to stay with that theme for today's challenge. And I cannot wait to hear the feedback on this one that I'm going to challenge you with today. But today's challenge is to love freely, fully, and fearlessly. Now, I can hear all the fear mongers going on in your head right now, like, what? I don't want to love freely, fully, and fearlessly. Then I'm going to get hurt. And so I challenge you to think about something. So often the people who say to me that they're guarded or they don't want to fall in love again or they're afraid to trust new people in their lives just because they don't want to get hurt. But aren't you hurting yourself by not letting people in your life? Aren't you sabotaging so many potential fulfilling, nourishing relationships? because you're not letting people into your life? I think yes is the answer for most people. What are you fearful of in getting hurt? So you're getting hurt is your perception of the dynamic of the relationship, right? It's your perception. It's what you're making it to be. The only thing that has meaning is the meaning that you give it. The only thing that has meaning is the meaning that you give it. So if you go back through all those relationships in your life and you think about all the ones that you were hurt in, which created these walls around you, which kept you from deepening your relationships in every aspect of your life, then I also want you to think about how your perception actually created your own reality. So your perception is what you chose to see coming from that relationship. Even if you were in an intimate relationship and that person cheated on you, and, and that hurts you, your perception was to be hurt. Some people might see it as, wow, I've got to be free to go meet other people now who wouldn't be so hurtful for me, who wouldn't do anything disloyal to me, who would add more value to my life. So it's really about how you choose to see the situation and how you choose to look at it is, is the pain or the non-pain experience. And even if you are feeling pain, because we all feel pain, feel the pain and get through the pain. So often people belabor a process of getting through something because they keep running away from feeling. And so they keep running away from feeling by staying busy or, and going out a lot, by potentially drinking, by doing other things that numb their feelings. And so if you can commit to feeling in that moment. You'll get through it and grow from it faster. So as you're feeling the pain, also look for the wisdom in the experience. This will allow you to have a different perspective on loving freely, fearlessly, and fully. And, and then this isn't just in, in intimate relationships. This is in every aspect of your life because when you can actually give abundance of love, true abundance of love to everyone that you meet and not be fearful of what are they going to do to me? What are they going to take from me? How are they going to take advantage of me? You will have so many more deep, fulfilling, loving, inspiring, energizing relationships in your life. I promise you that. If you have not been living with that feeling of that, those fulfilling relationships up to this point, give yourself a chance. I mean, if it's not working out for you this way, why not change it to another way, right? If you keep doing the same things, you'll get the same results. If people keep taking advantage of you, it's because you're creating that energy for them to take advantage of you. If people keep hurting you, it's because you're creating that energy. And you're surrounding, with people in a, a, you're surrounding yourself with people on a low frequency. But when you love, even if somebody hurts you, you have compassion for them, and you might not allow them into your space any longer or keep distance in the space, but you have compassion. You feel sad for what they're not yet capable of feeling or seeing. Potentially you choose to be a role model. Potentially you don't. That's up to where your energy level is at that point of your life. But today's challenge is probably one of the most challenging challenges for every human being. And I really look forward to hearing lots of feedback on this topic and how you might get through some of your blocks and barriers to make this challenge successful for you. Look forward to the feedback. Have a great day.